everybody. Today I'll be making a video on my middle school fire alarm system simulation. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay everybody, so today I'm going to be basically making a video about my middle school fire alarm system simulation. So today I'm going to be basically simulating the system along with kind of giving you a small tour of the system um, by a map that I made. So um, I went to this middle school a couple of years ago. Um, it was a very cool middle school. Um, I'm not going to be giving the location or um, what state this middle school is located in um, for privacy reasons. Um, and also, if you do know where this middle school is and you do recognize devices from it, please do not. Um, you, you can say stuff, but please don't disclose the location if you know where the location is. Um, you, you can all, also try to private message me if, if that is that really big, really the really a really big concern but other than that um let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to start start out by going over our map legend so in the purple on my map you're going to see simplex trulers and t-words and um this is the newer section of the building in the yellow you'll see siemens umhus umhu mcs's on and trim plates in the orange you'll see simplex trulers in the green, you'll see Simplex 4903 92 37ths. In the red, you'll see Simmons UMHU and, Sim and Simplex 4903 92 37ths. And in the blue, you'll see Siemens UMHUs and Simplex 4903 92 37ths. Siemens UMHUs and Simplex 4903 92 37ths. Again, in blue. And for the little black dot right here. This is a few devices that were replaced uh, for this system, and that is the Siemens ZH-MC-R replacing a few things. Throughout the building, there were FP11s. Um, they're, they're, that's pretty much all the smoke detectors they did have. They weren't anything else. Um, the main fire alarm control panel was a Siemens MXL fire alarm control panel. This one was not voice evac. It was just a regular panel. That there was Siemens MSM-K pool stations throughout, along with some Simplex pool stations in the newer Simplex section. So pretty much here is the map of the system. Um, as you can see, it is labeled out by the color. So I'm going to be starting out where the purple is. So the purple is where there is tons of classrooms and a gym. So this is where the Simplex trulers and T-bars are. Now, this was a section that was added onto the building a few years back. Um, it was put on, I believe, in, say, the late 90s, really late 90s, um, and it was added to the school. Um, in the yellow section, you'll see we have um, Siemens UMHU MCSs on trim plates. Um, and now these were pretty much molded trim plates. Um, I'll try to see if I can find a picture of them, and if I do, I will put it in the video. But um, this was pretty much connecting the auditorium and another set of hallways. Um, just to be clear, a lot of the, a lot of the um, classrooms did have horn strobes. And a lot, um, there weren't classrooms that didn't have them, um, but most of them did. For the green, you'll see we have Simplex 4903 9237 throughout that hallway. In the pink, we do have Siemens UMHU use and and 4903-9237s. On the red on the map, we have Siemens UMHUs and 4903 9237s. And um, that goes also for the other side, which is again um, Siemens UMHUs and 4903 9237s. In the pink, same thing as I just went over 4903-9237s. Now, something interesting to note is that the 9237s were in the hallway. Um, there were not, the UMHUs were really all mainly in the rooms, classrooms, um, and also there were smoke detectors throughout, um, which was very interesting. Um, the system was very mixed, I can say that. Now, as for the orange, that is where um, the library was located and did have um, simplex true alerts. Uh, there also was several replacements with Siemens ZH-MC-Rs. As you can see, I have them kind of labeled out there. There's also one in the gym that's in the um, in the purple wing, as you can see on the map. Um, so that is also pretty interesting.
one thing I did forget to mention is that the cafeteria did have Siemens UMHUs and C and Simplex Trulers and C Simplex 4903-9237 throughout. Um, that was also a very mixed area with alarms. Now, as far as the simulation goes, um, I did set up a simulation that should be rather close to what the system did look like. Um, I will say that the system now is upgraded. Um, it is no longer all these different types of devices. It is one EST system that replaced it about two years ago. Um, and the EST system has been there since. Um, and all the other horn storage were thrown out. Besides a few that were actually given to me by a very good person. I'm not going to be disclosing the person that did give me these, but um, I will say it was a very nice gesture of who did it. Um, I will say that, I, like I said, I do hope to have it 90% simulated. Now, this is only one of the devices that we so far have on the system. This is a Siemens UMHU-MCS-R. It is on Co3 and it is on 75 Candela. I also did get this from that middle school when it was upgraded, so um, it is kind of pretty interesting. The System Center 2400 was not on the system. I don't have any smoke detectors or FP11s or any Siemens conventional detectors, so I just have this sitting up here for right now. Up here we have a Siemens ZH-MC-R, um, which is also doing code 3. The strobe is also on 75 Candela. Down here we have a Simplex 2098-9806 test switch. There were a few of these in the newer section of the building. Down here, I tried to pretty much simulate this as best as I could, but this is as best I could do. They did have Simplex 4251-20s. I know that this is not a 4251-20, but it is a Simplex pool station. It's a Simplex 2099-9754. And over here, we have a Siemens MSM-K, which I also did get from that same upgrade. We won't be testing any of the duct detector today because that duct detector has nothing to do with the system and they had nothing system sensor on the system. Now as you can see the wire comes down all the way down my board and we land to another another um, device which is a Simplex 4904-9169. This is a remote strobe. I just have a horn covering um, on it and I did also get this from the school as well. Over here we have we have a Simplex 4903-9237, which would be in the hallways of the school. And over here we have a Simplex 4903-9426, which is on fixed 75 candela. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's on fixed 75 candela. Just so you guys are aware, um, this the panel again it was not a firelight or anything close to a firelight. It was a Siemens panel, but I decided that I'm just going to be using a firelight because I don't want to go out and buy a Siemens panel and deal with all the programming and waste all my money for just one video. So I'm going to be using this. Along with, I do have it on battery backup because the uh, Simplex does need filter DC. Okay, to start things off today, I think we are going to pull the Simplex pool station. Three, two, one. Sounds that. Also, just so you guys know, this will not also this will also not be counted as a board system test. Really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and activate the system center 2400. All right, that should be enough. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll go ahead and silence that. Okay, we'll go ahead and reset the simplex pull station by turning on the key. Open it up. 
And now we'll go into the main fire alarm control panel and hit reset. For our next test, we're going to pull the Siemens MSM dash can. Here we go. It will silence that. Now I'll quickly go ahead and reset our pull fish. Okay, opening up the station, flipping up the handle, closing it, and now I'll go ahead and hit system reset. All right, everybody. I hope this was loud enough for everybody, but I would like to say um, thank you for watching this video. Um, please let me know in the comments if you liked this video. Um, if you'd like me to kind of do a little bit more of these videos, so um, yeah, so with that being said, thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.